Well, what's good, everyone? It's MJo23Dan. So over on Twitter, YouTube, uh, I've noticed some beef going on uh, between um, two individuals that I've been watching. Um, one is uh, DJ Hess or Hess Kicks. The other one is uh, Finest Gear NYC. And uh, basically the premise of their argument was that DJ Hess had put out a video in regards to uh, authorized kicks versus unauthorized kicks. And uh, Finest Gear NYC uh, made a response video in regards to DJ Hess's philosophy or his thoughts on uh, collecting and the whole uh, thing in general. So anyways, um, I basically wanted to put out this video to I guess correct the problem and the situation and see if there are ways to counter getting unauthorized products um, overseas or through websites or whatever. Um, there are people out there that claim that why would you wait in line to get shoes like this? Why would you pick up a raffle ticket to get these guys? Um, these just released yesterday, Saturday, July 13, 2013. And um, I did buy them from a Foot Locker and a, a Foot Action. So these two I have receipts for. These two were purchased uh, from a authorized retailer. And um, I just kind of wanted to go over what I've noticed lately um, with authorized pairs and it may not be in, in unauthorized pairs and you can you guys that have that stuff that you, you've you've copped early uh, go ahead and check your stuff but um, I want to discuss that and I also want to discuss ways in which we can solve the situation with unauthorized pairs um, if you do cop unauthorized pairs um, I'm not calling your pairs fake um, the only reason why I keep reiterating that it is unauthorized is because it doesn't go through an authorized retailer. And when I mean authorized retailer, um, and I'll go ahead and post up like pictures within the video and and um, and and links and all that stuff. But um, when I say authorized retailer, if you jump on Jumpman23.com, and it's usually it's usually on boxes, you know, you'll have Jumpman23 on the boxes. See, jumpman23.com. If you jump on the website, the upper right hand corner, it'll let you know retailer location or locator or whatever. If you jump on that and you and you look up your store, those are the only places that I am comfortable obtaining my shoes from. Um, I have seen both sides of the coin. Um, I'm sure every collector has been part of, uh, part of, I guess, obtaining unauthorized sneakers at one point or another. I, I just feel personally that uh, if I have an authorized sneaker from an authorized retailer, um, I have the peace of mind that I'm getting um, the authorized product. Okay. So, anyways, how do we counter that? How do we counter um, items that are unauthorized and then come release day, they're saturated back into the market and now you don't know? Well, one thing that I've noticed with the new, with the new stuff, and I'll go ahead and, and grab this box, okay, um, stickers, suggested retail price prices right here. They're, they're not always going to authenticate your kicks, okay? Um, what I've noticed, and you guys can pull out your boxes too, sometimes there would be a stamp within the lid. On this one, it's not. But if you lift the paper and all that stuff, I have noticed, you know, there is something on the box that'll let you know. Um, let me try and zoom in here. 
This right here is a QC sticker. It's got a QC, which I'm assuming is a quality control. And um, that might be the, um, the employee number or the, um, the factory number or whatever. And it gives the OK. So let me try and zoom in. I know the, the red is pretty bright. But yeah, I mean, that's what I've noticed. And it's, it's also apparent on this box right here. Now you're probably saying to yourself, okay, great. Um, the box looks legit, but what about the shoes? Um, okay, the shoes. To me, a receipt, a receipt is not always going to tell you that the shoes are legit, okay? Receipts can be doctored. And um, I know there's some shady people out there. They'll grab an unauthorized pair early. And come release day, they'll do the switcheroo. So, for example, pretend that this pair was from an unauthorized retailer. And then this was the actual release pair. Um, from an authorized retailer. What am I going to do? Well, I know these are unauthorized. I'm just going to go ahead and switch them out for these guys. And then what do you do? You either return it to the store and dupe foot action or foot locker, or you sell it on eBay or Craigslist or through the forums, uh, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook groups, whatever. However, whatever your selling outlets are, you guys, you guys dupe the, uh, the consumer, the buyer. And, um, yeah, I mean, you're not always going to know what you're getting. So anyways, what can we do? So you saw that there was a quality control sticker in the box. Well, why can't we have it in the shoes? If you lift up the insole on some of the shoes, you'll also notice some stamping. Okay, so what do the numbers mean? Um, I'm not going to take out the, the insoles because I'm keeping these guys DS. But anyways, <coughs> sometimes there will be a stamp. Like, um, when you take out the insole, it will be on the, um, the actual shoe. Um, we can have those stamps. We can have, um, I guess, uh, numbered, serial numbered items stitched on, embossed um, in the same areas or like even even with the recent Jordan 4's like last year they had um, 2012 um, on the inside of the, of the of the tongue so I mean those are those are some ways but one way that I really wish that could happen and I hope that Nike and Jordan brand and um, companies like Upper Deck and um, PSA, Professional Sports Authenticators, um, they realize or explore the possibility of adding numbers or serial numbers or, or whatever because I think that would help out with the authentication process. For example, um, let me move these guys here. There goes one of the shoes. Okay, so here's a Jordan 22. Why do I have a Jordan 22? It's the only model that I've noticed that has a registration area. Peel for serial number. And I don't remember exactly how that process worked, but I assumed that when you got the shoes, you went to jumpman23.com, you peeled the sticker right here, and it gives you a number so that you can register your pair. And I believe that was one of the things that 
Jordan brand was kind of exploring when they were thinking about registering your pair. Registering your pair um, is, is kind of hard because you're just registering the box. That number is probably not even on these shoes. So um, it would be great if they did have it on there. And then um, another thing here, you have the stamp on the box. So you'll, it's kind of kind of faded and jumbled but I mean it's there that's that's one of the numbers so that type of stuff is pretty cool um, I would love to see that idea kind of happen because with a lot of sites um, getting stuff early and releasing it to the general public and shady sellers out there trying to dupe other people that they have authentic stuff um, you know it's not cool Upper Deck does a five-step authentication process and I'll go ahead and post that video link uh, somewhere in the video here and I want you guys to watch it because it's it's a pretty good video. It, it's a video between an upper deck employee um, witnessing Tiger Woods signing memorabilia. So the authentication process has five steps. One is a witness, okay, a witness, um, and, I, and, I, and I'll let you know how you guys translate this to shoes, okay. Um, the witness is the employee uh, from Upper Deck, or in relation to shoes, it would be um, a Nike representative, okay. Um, they are the ones that are going to witness the athlete or the shoes being made, okay. That's your number one. Number two is record. Um, once, once the athlete signs the shoes or the Nike rep sees the shoes being made, record it. You're going to record like in a number, um, as I was talking about with a serial number. Uh, I would prefer underneath the insole. The, uh, the number also gets an official affidavit and it's signed by the athlete and the employee so of course Michael Jordan's not gonna sit there and say okay I'm gonna go um, sit there with you guys and make 500,000 pairs of uh, the Jordan 4 no he's not a puppet <laughs> so um, that's why you have that Nike rep out there that's <clears throat> doing a quality control check on the on your shoes so they will sign for it. Um, each shoe will get stamped or a number, a serial number stitched on or embossed or whatever. Um, anything that won't be doctored. All right. Um, it'll also maybe even get uh, a hologram. And, and that's what step three is. Step three is a hologram that Upper Deck does. they introduce a, a hologram with a serial number and um, with that comes a step four once that hologram is in there with a serial number step four allows you to jump on a website um, on upper deck and register your memorabilia item So, in relation to shoes, once that registration number is in there, you jump on jumpman23.com or, you know, I, w I would assume that, and go ahead and enter that number um, and, and type in your registration information and all that stuff.
And that's one thing that I would probably encourage too, so that we know where their shoe's coming from and it's a public view. So um, anyone that is from the other side, the buyer, um, is wanting to legit check a pair of shoes, um, that hologram will clarify or that stitching or stamp or embossed uh, uh, stamp or whatever um, will give peace of mind to the buyer that the shoes are authentic and that's what step five is basically just registering the pair um, other ways that they do it with a uh, signature like say if you're um, getting memorabilia signed and and stuff there's this thing called a pen cam and upper deck has a pen cam so um, and I'll go ahead and post that information as well Uh, the pen cam is basically, let me grab a pen, so the athlete signs the shoe and there's a camera at the end, so uh, it, it just records as, as you sign, so that when you register your pair, that video will also be up on the website to let you know that the, these are the actual shoes. and. In relation to shoes, uh, I think that pen cam, or um, yeah, that pen cam would work if you were even to, you know, point it at the shoe and go ahead. And if there are flaws with the shoe, like for example, um, on here on my pair, there's like some smudges or some like glue marks or whatever. You would take the pen and you would go ahead and mark down you know the the flaws of the shoe like say you have extra paint like on the bubble or something like that okay that's noted so I just think that's a great tool that I feel that Nike can kind of explore um, Jordan Brand can kind of explore and you know just just try it out they did it with the uh, Air Jordan 22 but on the box but uh, I would rather see it on the shoes Anyways, what's your thoughts about it? Um, let me know if uh, if it's a good process, if it's something that Nike and Jordan brand can kind of explore and, and, and see and just give peace of mind to the, uh, the, the customers out there. Anyways, thanks for watching. Um, got some other things to do and I uh, just wanted to make this video. It ran kind of long, but... Um, I'm sure you get the gist of it. So, anyways, it's M. Joe, 23 Dan. I'll catch you guys later. Take care.